Come in. Wilson, 7381, sir. Wilson. Right. Well, what's the problem? I'd like to speak to you alone, sir. That's not possible, I'm afraid, Wilson. But anything you have to say can be said in front of Mr. Edwards here. I'd uh, rather not, sir. It's the rules, Wilson. I'd like to see Chief Superintendent Gordon Sparkins privately. What do you mean privately, Wilson? A visit from a senior police officer can quite easily be arranged through the normal channels. No. I want you to phone him direct. I don't want anyone else to know. And what is the meaning behind this clandestine meeting, may I ask? Are we going to see Daddy tomorrow, Mum? Of course we are. Can't not see him, can we? How long will it be before he comes back home? Oh, I don't know, little Charlie. Maybe sooner than we think, eh? Yeah. You go off and play with Max for a while. I'll just sit here. You, Charlie. Charlie Wilson. Yeah, how did you know my name? Oh, we know your daddy. I'm going to see my daddy tomorrow. Where's your mommy, Charlie? Should I go and get her? <laughs> Here's your report on tenant. And? He's squeaky clean. Oh, yeah? Put taps on both his home phones and his office likewise. 24-hour surveillance. The guy's slick. We're getting nowhere. Can't stand the pace, Dempsey. I ain't proud. I'm cracked. Cracked? Yeah, cream cracked. Sorry? Captain rhyming slang. Cream cracked, naked. You're learning fast. You two finish. All right, what are we gonna learn? Just the car. He's got a phone in his car. Well, tap it. Who's that? Oh, hello, George. He what? Oh, does he? Well, I'm afraid I can't. Well, what about tomorrow? At nine o'clock in your office. Look, I'll get the tube. You get a car to meet me at the other end. Okay? Well, well, well. Right on cue. Charlie Wilson wants a meet. Charlie Wilson? Yeah, he was driving with Tennant last year. He was driving on a big job. He ripped off half a million gold coins and antique medallions. I remember. Lovely job. Right in the middle of the sales room. Half a dozen of them with shooters under their coats. And suddenly, bold as brass, it's hold-up time. Don't tell me. 
They got away. Oh, yeah. They showed us a clean pair of heels and no mistake. I was at West End Central at the time, working with our esteemed commander. Somehow we got wrong-footed and went charging off in the wrong direction. The villains dived down the tube and vanished. All except Charlie Wilson. He got nabbed. Almost by accident. Funny. What do you think he wants now? Could want to spill some old beans. Maybe he's got something on Tennant. Maybe. I think I'll ring the commander. He might be interested. But I still want Tennant's car phone seen to. Oh, Max. What are we going to do? You go straight round to the police. That's what you'll do, my girl. And if you won't, I will. Oh, Mum, you know we can't. Not yet. My grandson's been kidnapped. That's all I know. And I won't stand by and do nothing. Go on. Answer the thing, then. Hello? Charlie. He's quite safe and there's no need for any alarm. He's just been taken as a kind of insurance, that's all. Insurance? What are you talking about? Your old man has got a loose tongue and loose tongues can be dangerous in the wrong quarter. So the boy stays with us until we're certain sure that your man's gonna keep his lip buttoned. Is he there? Can I speak to him? Sure. That's your ma. Say hello and say that you're all right. Hello, Mum. Is Max all right, Mum? Oh, Charlie, darling. Are you all right? Oh, my God. Yes. Max is fine. Oh, Charlie. Mrs. Wilson, don't do anything stupid now like contacting the police. Just be patient. And you'll get your wee boy back. If you do anything out of line. You'll never see little Charlie again. I'll only be a couple of minutes, see? Right, Mr. Tennant. There's no need for you to come in. It's business. I'll go on. Uh, all right. You never know. You might even win something. Yeah. I got uh, caught up in a spot of trouble. Nothing serious, I hope. Who's this? That's a toy, my dear Jack. It's my little toy. Here, go and blow this, darling, and uh, if by any chance you're lucky, we'll split the winnings. Oh. Good evening, Mr. Tennant. Your usual, sir? Thank you, Squire. Well, two from three leaves one. Hmm. One's probably been told to wait. I guess you're just gonna have to go down there and charm the pants off the guy. Then I can sweep in his gas tank. Hmm. Thanks a bunch. Come on, make peace. You can ooze sex for 30 seconds, can't you? Be here long? Do what? You're going to be here long. Maybe you'd like some company. Go on, shove off. Do you think I'm going to run the risk of being pulled by the fuzz over hooker in the back seat of my governor's motor? Leave off. It was your governor I was looking for. I don't specialize in shapes. Have you done what we agreed with that stupid bastard Wilson's brat? No problem, Jack. It's all taken care of. That will make him think twice about singing to the rooftops about you and me to our old friend, Gordon Spikings. Still. Yes? 
I think we'd better rewrite Spiking's program and dump him. Dump, Jack? It's computer lingo. We'll finish with. Get rid of. Erase. You win then? No, I had a drink instead. Do you take me for a soft touch or something? Give me that. What's up? Don't know, sir. The motor just cut out. Well, here we go. Keep your fingers crossed and your head down. Why is it always me who ends up on the floor? I'm not making any sexist remarks today. Thank you. Don't mention it. I won't. Are you sure this is going to work? No. Look at the bonnet up. It's probably a loose wire or something. Well, don't just sit there. Do something. What do you want? I stopped behind you. I'm a mechanic. What's that you're saying? This is my van. I'm a Mercedes mechanic specialist. I take a look, eh? See motor. Get on with it, Dempsey. This is not the time for an Academy Award. Couscous. You got a problem. Certain fuel line. Can you fix it? Oh, yes, I can fix. But not here. Here. Is this car clean? Yes, sir. Yeah. Go and get us a cab. Right, sir. If you can get it back by tomorrow morning, I'll see that you're well rewarded. I don't know. I'm very busy. Shop is full. Maybe the day after. If you can get it back by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, it's 100 quid in it for you cash. Here, give us 20. Here's 20 on account. I don't know. 100 day after. All right. Here's my car. Deal. 10 o'clock. No later. And don't even consider any sharp moves. Because I have friends who enjoy writing wrongs, if you get my meaning. Oh, you trust me, Mr. Tennant. 10 o'clock. Good as new. Sir, I've got a cab seat. Right. I think you may have blundered into a painless way of stealing cars. Oh, this is an old Welsh ride system. Happens all the time in New York. I got busted for it as a kid.
police officer. I suspect there may be an explosive device in that briefcase. I'd like you all to leave the train, please. Now, steady now, steady. Don't panic. Don't panic, for God's sake. Everybody out. Sir, I'm sure I'll be safe with Mr. Wilson. Regulations, I'm afraid, sir. Not allowed to leave prisoners alone with non-prison stuff, sir. Sit down. Smoke. Words up. If you're ready to take some singing lessons, Charlie. Or do I detect a sudden attack of stage fright? Sorry, Mr. Spigens. Don't know what you mean. I mean, Charlie boy, that unless you make my visit here worthwhile, there's more than an odds on chance that you will leave this room in little pieces. Okay? Well, you better leave a clean plate now because there'll be nothing more until this evening. Just sit there looking at it. Eat it. Not hungry. Oh. Eat it, little Charlie. We don't want you to go and weaken us now, do we? Come on now. There's a good boy. Come on. Come on. Come on, do Tessa. That's enough. Now leave him be. Hey, where are you going, Princess? I'm going to see Charlie Wilson's wife. The governor's just been on the phone. Apparently, Charlie's clammed up all of a sudden. See what she want you to do, beat the hell out of her. I shall charm my way into Mrs. Wilson's confidence and deduce the reason for her husband's change of heart. Yeah, when that doesn't work... Then I'll beat the hell out of her. You taking her back to Tennant? Yeah, sugar-free and bugged all over. Tell you what, I'll make a deal with you. You follow me over there, I'll deliver this, and then I'll go with you to see this Wilson chick. What do you say? Okay, after you. Okay. All City. Charlie, give me five. Guess who, over? Receiving Charlie time. Go ahead. Tap number 786 now operational. Pass that on to control. Thanks. Over. Message received. Over and out. Should we get a room? It's all right. Didn't I see you hooking in Mayfair last night? OK. 
Okay, lunch is on me. Here you are, dear. Nice cup of tea. Thanks, Mum. Oh, look a sight. I reckon I've aged about ten years in as many hours. Yes, and you'll age a few more, my girl, if little Charlie gets snuffed out. Oh, Mother, shut up, will you? No, I won't. You know my feelings, Eileen. He's my family. He's my flesh and blood. He's my grandson. Just a bit longer, eh? Just a bit longer, and then I'll tell him. I promise. I promise you, we've heard nothing by six o'clock tonight. I'll tell the police. But not just yet. Okay. Well, let's see how loose Mrs. Wilson's tongue is. If you want, I could slap her around a little bit. Dempsey, how many times must I tell you that it's very ungentlemanly to hit women? Okay. I'll hold her. You hit her. So, Mrs. Wilson, when did you last visit your husband? Last week. You normally visit him every Tuesday, don't you? Yes. So you'll be in today, will you? No. Why is that? What? I asked why. Why every Tuesday and not today? I don't know. I just don't feel like it, that's all. What the hell is that? Oh, it's Max, our dog. Uh, he's a bit highly strung. Are you okay, dog? He's a Briard. Oh, I like those. You mind if I take a look? See that dog? Had a nasty cut in his head. How'd the dog get hurt? He, he, he got knocked down by a car yesterday. Did you take him to a vet? That looks bad. Yeah, he, uh, he'll be okay. Did the car stop? What? The car that hit the dog, did it stop? Uh, no, it just kept on going. Is your son at home today, Mrs. Wilson? No, he's at school. Uh, he'll be back soon. Good afternoon. Wilson's wife has had a visit. Who from? Well, I don't know. Probably the police. Nothing transpired at the prison? So Wilson said nothing to Spikings this morning? Nothing. Well... I think they'll have to be taken care of. It's only a question of time before Wilson lets something slip, regardless of the boy. I agree. Leave it to me. I'll put the wheels in motion. Right. Oh, uh, keep me informed of progress, will you? Anything on tab 786 yet? One call so far. I've set it up on your machine. Thanks. Yep. Let's get the number. What is this? Coffee. Could have fooled me. Ready? Go. What do you got? I've got three, five... One. Oh, two, nine, one. Check. Good afternoon. Wilson's wife has had a visit. Who's from? I don't know, but probably the police. Nothing transpired at the prison. So Wilson said nothing to Spikings this morning? Nothing. Hmm. I think they'll have to be taken care of. It's only a question of time before Wilson lets something slip, regardless of the boy. I agree. Leave it to me. Put the wheels in motion. 
Right. Keep me informed of progress. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I doubt it. But here goes. Wilson's taken the rap for somebody else, namely Tennant, who we used to drive for, and the person on the other end of that phone number. He was going to turn state's evidence. Whatever, thereby reducing his sentence. He was going to spill the beans this morning to spice things, but something. Ah, ah, what? Regardless of the boy, they've got Wilson's son, and that's what stopped Wilson this morning. The boy wasn't at school at all. The school's on holiday. I knew there was something odd about Mrs. Wilson. And that dog, that dog bothered me. You didn't mind about the dog. What about the rest? What about the, I think they'll have to be taken care of bit? What's on, eh? What sort of rush, eh? Search me, Wilson. I'm only doing as I'm told. In you get. Transferred? What do you mean, transferred? When? Oh, I see. And where did the authority come from? Could you do that? Thank you. Wilson's been transferred. And nobody seems to know where or why. They're ringing back. Chas? Yep. Do you know where the governor is? Uh, he went to see the commander about ten minutes ago. Gordon. You're not wrong often, but this time I was assigned you're way off beam. That Islamic lot have already claimed responsibility for it. It was in the midday edition. You don't believe everything you read in the papers, do you, Commander? Gordon, it's not a question of believing. Who wants you put away so badly to prepare to blow up a tube train and a couple of dozen passengers? Now, be reasonable, man. That's a $64,000 question, isn't it? I don't know. But I'll find out. Wilson knows. He's been got at. Either by an inmate or one of the screws. Either way, the word came from here. From here? Directly or indirectly, I... I don't know. But I promise you one thing, sir. I'm going to find out. And when I find out who it was, I'll nail him to the wall. Gordon, I think you should go home. Why the hospital won't let you out, I shall never know. No. No, I'll, I'll be all right. It's just that I feel as though I've been on the booze for about a week. I insist. I'll send for my car. First off, I'm going to find out who's on the other end of that phone number. Right, now I'll throw in. Commander. Commander. Uh, this is Lieutenant Dempsey, sir. Um, sorry to trouble you. Uh, I believe Mr. Spikings is with you. We've got a little problem here. I was wondering if I could have a word with him. I'm sorry, Dempsey. I've had to send the chief superintendent home. He was suffering from delayed shock. Yeah, yeah, I see, sir. Um, do you know if he's left the building yet? Yes, he has. How long ago was that, sir? A few minutes. Why? Nothing wrong, is that, Dempsey? Oh, no, no. Oh, no, sir. Sorry to trouble you. Thank you very much. You all right? I don't know. Hello, Sergeant Makepeace. Oh, yes, hello. <laughs> we must have made a mistake. Um, I'll recheck and get back to you. Thank you. That was records. They've traced that telephone number. We've obviously made a mistake. You'll never guess whose number it was. You want to bet?
There he is. He's leaving in the commander's car. And it looks like he's got company. Get your head down. I'm on the floor again. I don't believe it. Don't fight it. It's where you belong.
Ken instead, I'm afraid, sir. Wilson's alive, just. And the supporting cast have all been rounded up. That bloody cowboy again. I'm afraid so, sir. Once he gets the taste for it, there's no stopping him. We got a tap on Tennant's car phone. They've got Wilson's small boy, but we don't know where. And, uh... And Tennant's telephone call was to our own dearly beloved commander. You knew? Is Dempsey's last stand finished out there? Get him. Come in. Commander, we've got a serious situation. Oh, really, Dempsey? Can I help? Chief Superintendent Spikings. He's been killed. And this guy, Wilson, he, he wound up in a concrete coffin. Somehow the two are connected. I don't know how. I think it's something Spikings was working on alone. Good God. Well, well, he seemed very upset. He'll be more than upset at the end of the day. Do I don't understand. I can't get to talk to anyone. Not tenant. No one. I don't like it. Something stinks. So what do we do now? I don't know. If I can't contact anyone within the next half hour, I think we ought to move. No. Where? Away from here. Away from London. What about him? Do we take him too? For as long as he's useful. I can't get hold of Tennant. Tennant's dead. What? But so is Wilson. Look, uh, you better move. Go here for a couple of days. I'll arrange a trip abroad. And what about the boy? Uh, not here, though. Uh, I'll be in touch. Now, don't ring me at all. Understand? And who pays the ferry, ma'am, now that Tennant's dead? Look, don't worry about money. That's one thing we're not short of. OK? You know, I've got a funny feeling we're being set up. Set up or not, the move. Go and get the car. Now what? Let's find out. Hello. Please don't give me any reason to use this. I'm very proficient with it. Just uh, trying it for size. If you don't mind, you, Jack. Dead men's shoes and all that. You know what I mean? Tell me, what is the number 
700387. Ain't you? Nothing? Well, let me give you a clue. It's in Switzerland. And it's not the figure for their annual production of cuckoo clocks. Still none the wiser. Then let me tell you. It's a Swiss bank account full of money. Your money, Jack. Paid for blind eyes that have been turned over the years. Until today, that is. And it all got out of order. And things began to come together for me. A bit quick, like. One or two unexplained jobs, question marks, one or two blind alleys. Hey, Jack! All you had to do was to get rid of poor old Charlie Wilson and yours truly. And you'd have been home and dry. Wilson was the key one. Without him, you'll have a hell of a job to prove anything. Now, that's where you've come adrift, sir. Charlie. You've never met our commander, have you, Charlie? Not face to face, sir. But I've been looking forward to it for about six months. So have I, Charles. So have I. I took on Charlie three years ago, just to catch you. <laughs> what a bastard, eh? Can't trust anyone these days, can you, old boy? How you doing, partner? Good. So it's about Max. Hey, you want a surprise? What is it? Stay here. Surprise. Oh, is, is that yeah. the little Charlie? Yeah. And it's for you as well. See, uh... We didn't know you were on the same side. <laughs> That's a really good match. A saucepan lid and a cherry hog. Saucepan lid, kid. Cherry hog. Dog. What a clever boy. <laughs> <laughs> 